so I've been looking forward to filming this video all day and as soon as I set it up outside it started raining but I cannot wait any longer because today the latest instalment of the Mysticum Luna Pinscription boxes arrived. So this will be my third Pinscription box. If any of you haven't seen my Pinscription unboxings, basically Mysticum Luna are a company that sells kind of gothic, witchy and spooky jewellery and they do also sell some awesome pins. Now I bought some pins from them before and three months ago they came out with this subscription service where they send you two pins every month. So on the 30th of each month they ship out one of these boxes and inside are two pins. Now it is a complete like blind unboxing subscription service so you do not know what kind of pins are going to be in here but if you do see any pins that you do like from these unboxings you can actually buy them separately on their store. So this month the box is slightly different. On the first month's box this barbed wire thorn stuff was white. Last month it was red and then this month is a sort of shimmery golden colour. Again it has the Mysticum Luna sticker on the front. This one has a really nice stamp on it and as you can see these are sent first class. So every month they get shipped out on the 30th and they get here within like one working day. And then on the bottom it has this circular sticker and this month we have a witch's ball. So I just can't wait any longer, I need to open this box up now. So far we've had like a varying range of pins, we've got a square one with writing on, we've had a black rose, there was a moon themed one and we have also had one in the shape of a heel. I have put all my videos in a playlist so again I will link those down in the description in case you haven't seen those. So now to open it up. Ooh, it's different this month. So it has the M. Elf Mysticum Luna at the back and Pinscription in the same gold colour as on the front. And then it has our Mysticum Luna card in there with all their information, which I will leave down in the description below, as well as a direct link to this Pinscription. And then inside we have our two blind bags. Usually these are in like a very sort of bright red colour, but this month they seem to be going for a golden theme. So I'm going to open this one first. These blind bags are really nice because they have a pull off tab bit at the top and then they're just your usual resealable bag so you can use these again in the future. So the first pin, oh cute. Oh I really like this one. This is such an awesome pin, it's in the shape of a hand, they've got some killer pointy nails going on there and then the two fingers which are like pointing upwards, the skin has kind of dissolved off and it's left so that you can see like the bone. I think that's such a cool design, I honestly haven't seen any pins like that before. Also I really like the fact that it's a black and white pin, I think that's a really nice touch and I'm pretty sure I haven't got any just plain black and white pins. It may not show up on camera, but the actual black details are quite shiny, whereas the white itself is almost matte. I really like this design and I definitely feel like I would have bought it if I had seen it in their store. It just has your regular back clasp pin and it is fully black on the back. I know I said this last month, but this one is definitely now my new favourite pin. So the second pin again is in one of these blind bags. From the other two unboxings I've done of these pinscriptions, I've noticed that the pins don't really have a theme or they don't really kind of relate to each other, but I'm really pleased with that because unlike some subscription boxes where there is like an ongoing theme, if you don't like the theme then you're kind of messed up for the whole box, but I really like the fact that these pins seem to have a variety. So holding this pin in my hand it seems to be quite big. Oh this one is so nice! So it's another larger pin, this one is in a rectangular shape, whereas the one that we got last month is in this square shape. And it says, Your Fate Mysticum Luna established in 2014. So I feel like this one's kind of more based towards the company. It has two skeleton hands. There's me saying that they don't seem to have a theme normally, <laughs> um, but there you go, two skeleton hands. And then a circle, which I guess could either be maybe a full moon or a witch's ball with a little crescent moon in the middle. And then it's got these six little stars going around it. 
Again, like the other pin, it's in a black and white theme, and the black does seem to be slightly more raised than the white. The black is shiny, as you can probably see the reflection on there, whereas the white is a more matte colour. It's a really nice sized pin, I really like the design of it, and again, I think I probably would have bought this if I'd seen this in their shop. It does have a very sort of witchy feel to it, I really like the font that they've used. I think it's very unique to any other pins that I've got which have kind of company names and sort of information on them. So those were the two pins, I am so so pleased with them, again definitely ones which I would have bought if I'd seen them in their store. This subscription box for people living in the UK costs £8 including postage, so effectively if you take off kind of like the £2 postage then that's around £3 per pin which is a really really reasonable price. If you live in Ireland or anywhere else in the world that isn't the UK, you can still get this subscription service, but I believe it's around £10, so really it's not that much more, I think you're just paying that tiny bit extra for the shipping. So now that I've opened these pins, I guess it's time to try and find a space on this ever-filling pin jacket. So I haven't got enough Mysticum Luna pins yet to make like a whole Mysticum Luna side. So it's still a bit of a mixture between like Spooky Box Club, a couple which I made myself, and then the Mysticum Luna ones as well. But it seems like they're all kind of gathering around here. We've got the Dead is the new black pin from last month, along with this black rose pin. And then the very first month's box, we got this moon pin and this stiletto with like a dagger. So I think that this hand one is going to fit quite nicely there. And although it is kind of slightly shadowed by my collar, I feel like because it is so white you can see it really easily, but, but I do think I may need to rearrange a couple of my Spooky Box Club ones, just because they seem to kind of be hiding. While I'm doing this, I'm also going to say a big thank you to a lady who I follow here on YouTube called Little Miss Bear. She offered to send me a few of her Spooky Box Club pins which she didn't really have a home for. So now not only is my lovely pin jacket full of Spooky Box Club pins, but I've also been able to spook up my handbag as well. I will leave a link to her channel down below because she does some really interesting reviews and she does also do like Spooky Box Club unboxings as well. So, and I do always really enjoy watching other people's subscription unboxings. So I feel like these fit in really nicely. I've put the Your Fate one here on like the pocket flap and the hand there at the top alongside with my other Mystica Maluna ones. We also have this one which so many people have been sending me recently which is the crazy bat lady pin so obviously you all know me way too well. I feel like they all fit in really nicely and I'm particularly pleased with the hand one just because I don't have any like shocking white pins. So, right. <laughs> So that was my Mysticum Luna Pinscription unboxing. Again, just like last month, I am so, so pleased with the pins I got. I definitely would have bought them if I'd seen them on their site. I'm so pleased that I subscribed to it. And now I can also confirm with the payment system, just because I have been a little bit unsure, but since I've done this three times, I have worked out that the day that you subscribe, so so if you subscribe on the 11th, which is what I did, your next payment will come out next month on the 11th and so on. So whichever day you subscribe on is the day that they will charge you. And like clockwork, they ship these out on the 30th, so they are arriving either on the 1st or the 2nd of each month. I am really pleased that they are very consistent with their shipping timings, just because some of the other subscription services, which I am subscribed to, their boxes kind of come at any time during the month depending on when they're ready but it's really nice to know that when like a new month rolls by I know that I will be getting one of these packages very shortly. So as I said I will leave all those links down in the description for you. I will also leave a link to their actual shop because they do sell some really nice other items and you can buy these pins separately in case you did want one of their pins but you didn't want to like commit to a subscription service. So thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please do leave them below. If it's sunny where you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade and I'll see you next time.